All right. Welcome, Penny Stock Billionaires. Today we're bringing you a very special show and a special guest. Uh, Calvin, turn, turn off that mic for a second. <laughs> There's noise. Uh, all right. So, yeah, we're going to be bringing you a very special guest. I want to just give you a little bit of a, of a preview of what this is about here. I'm going to share this screen right now. This is Calvin's track record. Some of you guys have seen him. He's, uh, you know, he he was on our on our chart chat back, I think, in October or November. Uh, we were talking about that the fast lane strategy. And here is a guy. Here is a guy who actually turned ten grand into you know over a million bucks in the last what is it eight months or so. So we're going to talk. We're going to talk to Calvin about his you know investment kind of investment philosophy, the mindset, everything else, and uh, we'll open up for questions. So uh let's see here um let me get calvin on okay calvin uh unmute unmute <laughs> okay hello right. guys calvin welcome to the program hello hello all right fantastic so calvin you know i you know when did you now you actually i think you you know, we first met you uh, on the chart chat the live stream right back in i think it was november was it November we talked the fast lane strategy? Was that when you first came on? Yeah, yeah. I think um I think I think you made it like uh, yeah, in the comments. I think I donated as well. I, I was saying, you know. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I donated. You, you donated. Yeah, I think it was like for the 590 whatever it was. Yeah, so Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I donated saying that I was going to, you know, try the fast lane because um you know, it, it made sense that, you know, it was you know, it is possible to you know, parlay three different, three, four different picks, and that could eventually be, you know, that that big hitter. Because if you think about it, you put in ten grand, fifty grand, fifty grand, two fifty grand, two fifty to one million. That's that's with five X. You're doing the, so. So just to re, I just want to for anybody that's kind of new. Back in uh, November, uh, you know, I did a live stream where um, it was. The, I think it was the the live stream we talked about the you know how we pick uh, you know how we pick stocks, the investment philosophy, and then. I outlined something we call the fast lane strategy, which was, hey, sure, we've had a bunch of you know stocks that are up 10x, 20x, 5x, a bunch of winners. What if you could parlay that? And so in other words, you could take one stock, right? You put in 10 grand, you get 10x, so that becomes 100 grand, and then you do it twice. You do the second time, so that 100 grand now becomes a million bucks, and mm -hmm. then do it one more time, a third 10x, that's 10 million. I think Calvin, you were the guy that, that on that live stream. You said, "I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for it," and and you basically have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically did it, and then um, you know it's um, it's easier said than done. But then uh, you know it the you know it, it was yeah essentially just three different stock picks that helped kickstart this whole tra trajectory. Okay, so let's you know I'm, I'm going to get into and, and by the way you you know there's a I think there's a couple of guys I know there's a couple of guys out there who have yeah. had you know similar results and some of them you know there a lot of people are not going to go on the live stream a lot of people just you know they're you know they want to stay private secret etc you know who I'm talking about right this yeah there's a bunch of guys uh, which is which is fine so let's talk about how first of all how do you well tell us about who who you are just intro, tell the audience like who, yeah how old are you what, you know what do you do like what's you know what's your background. Mm -hmm yeah for sure so um i'm 23 years old based in uh beautiful british columbia vancouver um prior to this before i quit my job i was a web developer so um you know as a web developer uh, you know i'm always on the internet so I, I i stumbled upon you guys somehow and and then um you know i was in and then from from there i was really interested in in the concept you guys had you know you know um having these interviews with the CEOs and, you know, that provide a lot of transparency and a lot of more information that, you know, the regular, the regular investor can't have access to. Like, it's really helpful to hear these interviews and, and hear from, from the company themselves. So, so yeah, um, and then uh, six months down the line, I think, yeah, um, you know, I ended up quitting my job and, you know, this, this was done full time. Wait now, hold on a second. When did you, when did you quit your job? What, what, what did you quit your job because you were making so much money, or when? When? when yeah, when yeah. I quit my job because I was making so much money that you know it literally provided no value anymore to even work there. You know the the gains from stocks itself was like too 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 big. So, okay, okay. So now you okay. So you started with ten grand. Now, what, how much did you have in, the, in your account when you quit your job, though? When I quit my job, I think I had four hundred k. 
Okay, so oh, so you were okay. So listen, by the way, at twenty three, when you're even a hundred, well, a hundred grand these days doesn't get you as much as you used to. But four hundred grand is enough to you know it's enough to, to to get by for a little while, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. It's enough to get by, and that's not even considering the the future outlook I had for these stocks. You know, I was a hundred percent convinced that it was going to go up. There was nothing that you know would would downplay these stocks for me. So you know, I had little to no risk of uh, quitting my job at all. Okay, so are you are you an optimist by nature? Yeah, yeah, I'm very bullish by nature, and uh, if you and the guys that know me personally know that I'm. Are you very, a risk? Uh, are you a risk taker? Are you? Do you have? Yeah, risk I'm a very. I'm a, so so. Let me tell you. So actually, prior to this, I was a really big sports better. Okay. Per oh, perfect. So, okay. <laughs> yeah. This, so, this is so, easy. So that's where the risk came from. Exactly. Yeah. So stocks essentially was a safer, <laughs> you know, like a safer bet for me because i was so addicted to you know winning i was addicted to you know getting the right pick so you know you know a lot of people these days you know have trouble with uh you know having that risk aspect of putting in the money at first but this was already eliminated for me hold, hold on you you said something interesting you said yeah. you were you were addicted to winning yeah <laughs> yeah i was addicted to picking the what? right pick no. Yeah, but okay. So here's the thing. So, 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 I think that which is a very important distinction, right? Because, you know, this whole business is all psychological. You're talking about whether you're betting on sports. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter, right? At the end of the day, I think you know. I don't want to get into the whole like you know self development, you know, psychology. But you know, people in life they get kind of they get what they want out of life. Everybody really does a deep, yeah. on a deep down level. And you know, some people. I remember when I was in the commodity. I started off when I was in the futures industry, and there was like a saying that that's where I learned that expression from. And I, because I had clients at the time who would consistently lose money, and some would make money. And, mm -hmm. and what I learned was some people actually they kind of wanted to lose on a deep level. They wanted to lose money, or they kind of, and some people they're addicted to just winning. You know, they want to make. You know, it, it's a it's a it's a distinction. It's a very subtle thing. So so which is important. So you get the right you get the right uh, one. So. <laughs> So addicted to how by the way, how did you do in sports? Do you make money betting on sports? Yeah, I think um I think in 2019 I, I made it up to like five Bitcoin, but I, I lost it all actually. Wow, wait, 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 oh you have Bitcoin also. Yeah, it was all Bitcoin. Yeah. I, I think I, I did the same thing as this where I just started with like a thousand bucks and I turned that to like a hundred K and then and then I lost it all. But then, you know, with stocks, you know, I <laughs> yeah, there's no there's no there's no way for me to lose it all. So that's why I eventually even got to this. And okay. I actually got to stocks because it was one of my friends, uh, one of my friend that got me into it. Actually, you know, he was like, "Hey, Calvin, you know, you're very, uh, you know, you're very good at this sports thing. Maybe you should give stocks a try." And this was, you know, during the COVID time. So, okay, yeah. So I was fortunate enough to even get introduced to it. Okay, so you got it. And so when was it? so this is so you got into the stocks and the, the penny stocks just just pretty much recently. I guess like what March, April, or something. Yeah, last year March. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This is what everybody got into. Okay. Did you start off with penny stocks or what did you? I was actually looking at my transactions. My first buy was Delta Airlines. Okay. okay. <laughs> and then, um, you know, from then on, it was, it was all stocks after that. Wait, so I, you I, basically, I, you were following that guy. Who's that guy? The uh, 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 stool president, uh, 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 David, uh, a stool, uh, bar stool sports. What's bar that guy's <laughs> name? You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, got, that's when he got into day trading, and he was day trading like you know the airlines, cruises, everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I just bought it because I thought that it was going to double eventually uh, in COVID. But then I was like, okay, this is going to take too long. I need something quicker. You know, I'm, I'm looking for doubles now. You know, not not doubles down in two years. Okay, okay. So hold on. <laughs> I like this. you know what is this is the thing when you're young, everybody they have no 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 patience. Everybody wants they want it now. They want it now, which I don't blame man. You know, it's like shit. You. You know, this is the time to, when you want to enjoy your money when you're 23, not when you're, you know, 73. You know. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, okay. So, uh, do you know? The, do you know Ryan Calvin? Yes, RZT, my boy. Yes, definitely. That's one of the. Have OG you guys met? You, is, he in, is he in Vancouver? No, he's not in Vancouver. I think he's in uh, Toronto. I think. Okay, Dave Portnoy. That's the guy we're talking about. All right. So, so basically, you're kind of like the Dave Port. <laughs> you're the Dave Portnoy of Vancouver. Um, so you basically you had you had a success with betting sports. You figured, hey, shit, it's the same thing with stocks. Um, yeah. Not a lot. It really, there's really not a lot of difference. I mean, you know, I know like you know the 
the SEC, the the, the NASD, they want to say, oh no, investing is very serious. It, you know, it's it, it's not that serious. All right. So yeah, how did you it's discover? Not it's not, it's not. So how did yeah. you um and you said that you discovered the first th- when you discovered us with the cloud MD was how did you discover Wall Street Report or live streams? Um, I, so I got into cloud and D, um, I'm, I just look at my, my things, I, my, my first investment in cloud and D was April 28th. And then that was prior to you guys. Uh, okay. Oh, you got, oh, you got the cloud in April. Yeah. In April. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we, we started, we started work with cloud in July, late July. Yeah. yeah so so that's were, when you, when I found you guys. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And, uh, so what price now, so what price did you get into cloud at? um 76 cents okay oh so basically so that was actually okay so we, if you bought it in april and i think we introduced them at 50 cents approximately i think exactly was. so i was down actually <laughs> hold on a second so when you first saw the video you probably saw that video in ju- late july and that yeah. was when we produced it what did you think did you think oh shit, this company is <laughs> what, what, what was go- what was going through your mind you down <laughs> i was and- really happy Actually, I was so happy that, you know, I get it to, you know, actually see some kind of, you know, information from the CEO. And that's what you guys provided, you know, all these interviews, deep insights into the business itself. And I was actually really ecstatic that, you know, companies like this would do this type of stuff. Yeah. You know, it, I, you know, you know, that's really good you know, because you know, it helps give us inf- more, uh, more important detail. But so I was really excited. And then I was actually really happy because, you know, I was actually down. I was down 20 percent. You know, I was I was losing money at the time. And as a new investor, you know, you know that that's the worst feeling. Minus twenty percent yeah. doesn't feel good. Yeah. 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 So, so so you okay? So so what? So when you saw the interview, because actually, by the way, the CEO, Doctor, how he, the guy's really good. I think he, yes. when he did that interview, he really explained the story and what it gave you confidence. Like if you said, okay, this is a real business. It's not like some you know. Mm-hmm. Hype. Mm-hmm. I already knew that it was a really good business before, but like, um, but you know, that, that just, you know, solidified what my, my thought process. Okay. By the way, do you, are you, are you into HAP B, H A P B, you know, the device, because it has the, it creates the feelings, you had a, a wind mode. I think Marcel bought one. He said it's working. You know, the happy device. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, you, want to bring, you know, the problem is I'm not like, I, cause you got it connected to the app and I always like, you know, I'm, I, I'm, it's, I can't use it I mean, because I, I got to remember to turn on the app. The, I don't use apps. You know, I only use like, you know, the Uber. That's all, the only thing I use on my phone. So, but I, but I, I think it, I did use it a little bit. It, it definitely has some, has something going on. So, all right. So you saw the thing with, um, with cloud and um, so what happened then? When did you, now when did you sell cloud? When did you get out of cloud? You got out of cloud, right? Yeah, I got a cloud. I'm just looking at it right now. Um, I got a cloud in a really good position. I think I sold a big chunk of it at the three dollar mark, actually. And this was all okay. the way back in October. Okay, that's October was really when so, it made that um, first yes. big, the first big run. Yeah, yeah, that run was huge. You know, I remember it was six percent then. Now, now, what? Now, let me ask you question, though. Out and bought a fan. Sorry. Yep. Okay. Hold on a second. Now, why do you sell cloud? You, the stock was running at that time. It was really going parabolic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It, I, I don't know. You know, a lot of these are just you know, gut feelings and uh, and and you know, just 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 outlook. You know, you know, when when you see stuff go berserk like this, you know, you you, you tend to you know. Pick, pay more attention to it because you know you don't you know you, you have to understand that this is going to be like this every day right stocks you know we all we all hope stocks go up every day but you know you have when you go to the reality of, of things you know you have to understand that um when you see gains like this it, you know if it were to continue it would be ten dollars now but you know it's still hanging around two dollar mark so okay so by the way so what you're saying is actually it's very smart which is the reality is look when stocks go parabolic you know, sometimes they do keep going like that, right? But when, when a stock's make, I find when usually when stocks mm-hmm. make that first big parabolic move, they usually always pull back like 50%, which it did. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, so you, okay, so that was good. And, so every, and a lot of stocks did pull back as well. Yeah, so you got out of it. And, um, and then when did you get into fans? Right in October, was it? 
Um, so I'm looking right now. I got on fans at uh, in November. I bought a hundred thousand shares of fans uh, at an average of thirty cents, I believe. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, okay, at thirty cents. Okay. Uh, so basically, was that wait, th yeah. that was pretty much you and you took all your money. Basically, you you put hundred percent of everything you made and put it all to fans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I put hundred percent of what everything I made from uh from fan from uh from oh, so G to fans. Yeah. Okay, so you basically you you understand the concept of the parlay thing. You get the whole idea. I mean, it's high. Oh, yeah. It's definitely high oh, yeah. risk. I mean, okay. Oh yeah, it's so, high risk for sure. Yeah. So here's my question. I think I think I put so, in like I put in like thirty k into fans, and then I understood that one day I could potentially lose it all. Okay, so you you knew that you knew that you could the thing could go to zero, mm -hmm. anything could happen. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that, that, that's yeah, always on my mind. Which means we should run the, our disclaimer at the bottom of the screen. You know, this is <laughs> study stocks are very risky. You could lose all your money. Uh, this is all opinions, yep. etc. We're not, you know, we're compensated by company, etc. I'll, I'll let I'll let that run for a little while. <laughs> so that, uh, okay, so let, now when you bought fans at thirty cents, right? I think at that time was it kind of was it? I think it was at that time it, it was pretty much flat line, right? Or, or I think it even went down a little bit from there, right? Yeah, I actually bought fans before as well, but I, 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 I you know, it, I, I sold it because you know it wasn't running, and then this was my, I think this was my third time buying fans, so I bought it, and then. Within two weeks, you just had that crazy run up that you know went up to like seventy plus cents. That was the big fir the first big run of fans. yeah the first big run yeah yeah okay now were you ever at, at what point were you ever like nervous like 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 did you did you ever have a hard time sleeping thinking shit I could lose all my money <laughs> this, is, this is the stupidest because you know, because I think for some people worse than even losing money is you know looking like an idiot because you know all your friends if you, if they know about they're gonna say oh shit you should have just you should have yeah. just, you know, you know, that's, that's the worst. Yeah. All my friends knew about it. My parents knew about it. You know, everyone knew about it. You know, I was very transparent at what I was doing, but you know, that belief and that, you know, I did my research on these, you know, it wasn't just a simple throw a dart at the, at, at the board kind of thing. It was with deep, deep understanding of these businesses and they were truly undervalued. And you know, fans was <laughs> crazy undervalued. You know, they just had this this guy that was just you know this like play around stock, and they just needed some kind of momentum to push them forward. And you know, luckily that 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 momentum was there to push them into like the uh, seventy plus mark. Okay. By the way, let me just, let me take a small thirty second break for like a little plug here. <laughs> you know, uh, anybody yeah. who's just tuning in, uh, we have a link in the video description if you want to join our. Um, uh, well, obviously, you should subscribe to the YouTube channel. Calvin, you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Yep, yep, yep. You are, you are actually, you're, you're actually you're, you're the premium member, right? You're, I think you got, yeah. you got the membership. Uh, which yes. one do you have? You have the nine ninety nine, or you have the, or you have the platinum? You have the no, I actually, I, I actually don't. I, I don't have it. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I, I will be joining it though. I will be. Yeah. So, so basically, yes. Yeah, so, yeah, so what we do is with the okay. So anybody who was watching, they can join obviously the website, become a subscriber for free. You get get the notifications and all that. We have the live streams and all that, uh, and then we have two programs. We have uh, so these live streams we do. They go into the members channel afterwards, uh, which is only for nine, it's nine ninety nine nine dollars ninety ten bucks a month basically, and also that allows people to you know participate in the live chats. For this, for the CEO interviews, all that other stuff, and we do that to kind of, you know, keep it a more of a quality audience, so we don't get a lot of noise uh, in the audience. And ninety-nine bucks with that—that's our platinum membership that gives you two things. One is it gives you the special Telegram, which is gives you that uh, gives you alerts throughout the day on different moves, uh, and most importantly, you get um, notified before we introduce the new stock. So before we introduce the next fans. Uh, for example, this week we introduced uh, TBP Tetra. Uh, this is a stock had a pop. It's actually pulled back, which is you know normal. But uh, basically, as a platinum member, everybody you know you you basically you're getting in early. You're getting in you know before the mad rush into these things. And you know, hey, if somebody's uh, you know uh, playing with a decent amount of money, it's worth it. Calvin, I'm I'm shocked. I'm shocked. You're not a platinum member yet, but maybe <laughs> maybe you don't need it. Sorry, sorry, sorry about that. I I, I wasn't really I feel really active. Uh... Ever since, uh, ever since the past three months, but uh, now, now moving back. So, okay. No, this, I just, no I just, I did just buy the bronze one though. Maybe, maybe the platinum too. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So, um, what else? Okay. So, so basically, so you, um, so you had some, you had moments of doubt when you were holding like fan, uh, 
you got mosquitoes here. When you when you get you're holding um, fans and it's going down, things like that. Yeah, yeah, I've got a lot of moments of doubt. You know, a lot of you know depressing times. And like, oh, what am I doing? You know, is this even going to be right? And <laughs> you know, but I just, um, but actually doing that time, you know, I just put my head down and, and just focus a lot more on my job instead. You know, I knew that these stocks were out of my control and the only thing that was needed was just, you know, time in the market. So, you know, I just stayed patient, you know, you know, to read some, you know, positive. And the Discord was really helpful too. You know, a lot of uh, helpful people in the Discord that, you know, provide positive insight and positive outlook. So that really, okay. that actually really helped me a lot too. Okay, so this that's our, that's our Discord channel. We have a link to that in the video description below. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we got we got Philip 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 in Korea who's uh, who's running the channel, the Discord. Oh, he's, Philip! He's, oh, yeah, he's uh, yeah. I remember him. Yeah, he was uh, always making those uh, those spreadsheets and stuff. He the spreadsheet that guy with the spreadsheets. Yeah, yeah. So he actually yeah, has yeah. he actually has an interesting video he put today. I because he actually we actually could see him now. You want to be you want to be you know Mister Anonymous. He actually has a video talking. It's actually very cool. He's you know very. Uh, you know, very, very sharp guy, and uh, he explains, yeah, the whole philosophy, etc. You know, uh, now you you're not into the charts, right? Your thing is not charts, like you don't no. know. No, okay. <laughs> no, I don't even look at charts at all. I, I have no idea what those numbers mean. I have no idea what this cup and handle. I, I don't know what else. I have no idea what this VWAP or you know all these you know technical numbers. You know, I I literally have no. So 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 I so so this brings another good point where you know. From the beginning of my invest my investing career, I understood that I was not a smart person. I'm not, you know, your 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 A plus student. I don't understand these stuff. So a lot of my investments are not geared towards these these stuff. You know, I don't look at financials, I don't I don't do anything. It's a lot towards speculation and a lot towards what other people will invest in. You know, I try to understand who are the investors and where this volume will be coming from and and essentially, you know, fans and CBT, you know, these volumes were, were going to come because they were in such hot topics of areas of, of, of interest. Okay. So this is this something we kind of we talk about is, is with these things, you kind of want to get in on things where you like, I always look at, you want to see, it's not even so much, for example, like, you know, like it's not so much, again, we talked about this before the, the, the live stream. It's not so much like, you know, what you like, it's kind of like, Hey, what are other people gonna like? It's like judging a beauty contest. It's not like, hey, yeah. I think this girl is hot. It's like, who's ninety nine percent of the people or ninety percent of people is gonna think is hot, right? So it's exactly. like, so that that's what it is. It's it's um, uh, so that's why like you know, again, I I I I'm not a fan of you know coin, but I you know I've been talking on Bitcoin for a while. I said, hey, this at twenty thousand we did a live stream. Say, hey, this thing is gonna go to hundred thousand. I don't care what it, you know. Yeah, it's just, I'm not a fan of Bitcoin too. I'm not a fan of GameStop too, but are you? you, know, are you are, <laughs> I'm you not a fan of them. Do you own both but, right now? Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm in both, but um, but uh, you know, it, it, you know, I'm not a fan of them as well. But you know, I eventually just go wherever. Sometimes you just gotta put your head down and just you know go where the money goes because that's essentially what we're trying to go for, right? We're in here to make money, not to make ourselves happy. Okay, so it's interesting. So basically, okay, so it was a good good commentary. Yeah, listen, anybody can do this, really. I mean, it's like uh, you know, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's you know. You know, you're, you're saying you're not a, you, you're not a genius. You don't have 180, 200 IQ. You're like a regular guy, but you you yeah. understand which is which is better because the, I think the smarter people are, it's harder for them to make money because they like to overanalyze. They're like, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm I'm, I'm, doing, I'm gonna do deep fundamental analysis. <laughs> you can't do deep fundamental analysis of penny stocks. There's just no because there's no numbers. I mean, yeah, there's no, no numbers. numbers. Yeah. You can't project. You know, it's all based on these are all basically. Venture venture stage companies. It's sort of like yes. venture capital. There's no spread. There's no earnings forecast. There's no nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we do have obviously some of our companies like you know Skylight, Cloud. They, you know they're, they're doing 40, 50 million in revenues. Mm -hmm. Logic, but you can't buy them based on what they had. It's based on what is going to happen in the future, and that's a spreadsheet's not going to tell you that. It's exactly. not, not. You know, it's not. Um, uh, look, a spreadsheet is good if you're if you're investing in like utility stocks or you know i don't know or, you know railroad you know some boring companies which have predictable cash flows the, this is not this is not what this is um so okay so very important is that you're not a you don't do the technical analysis which is you know completely i you know, i look at, i always look at the charts and that's a big part of it's probably why you're not on have been on the live streams because it's 90 percent of the conversation is talking about charts really yeah <laughs> yeah 
<laughs> so it's you know it's okay uh let's see what um we got a question here uh uh okay so we, here's a guy who basically saying okay you don't need a hundred bagger or even you basically you you've made your money by parlaying just like three four five x in a row yeah yeah you, you're you're, you're waiting for yeah. x okay <laughs> now now let's go okay so you 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 were holding fans and now when did you did you did you sell fans when did you get into cbdt you you got out of fans completely or what did you do yeah yeah i got out of fans i saw, i think i made like I, th I think i had like, when i saw all my fans i had about like 80 grand i think and then okay. i put all that 80 grand into a million shares of cbdt at eight cents okay uh which was what like it's or october roughly yeah october, november when was that uh um cbt was in december early Dece december. Oh, so th oh, early december then yeah because that's it's interesting guys because i think we introduced cbd at a nickel and then it was kind of like flat for a little for about a month mm -hmm. and, it, and it, right, right in december it started moving finally yeah so i got in actually right before it started moving like okay. I, and then a week after it just you know i remember it just started going crazy oh that's when it went to 12 cents 15 cents yeah. and that was, yeah. that was it yeah. okay so yeah so which is, you know which is interesting because you know it's funny a lot of our some of the best stocks that we have they start off like that. They either they're flat for a while or they even go down. It's sort of like Tetra right now. I think is is acting very. People have been saying that it's very similar to the way that CBDT was. So uh, you know, are, do you, are you in that? Are you in the TBP? TBP? No, but I got I got I got told by it from 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 a friend on on Discord. Okay, check it out. Yeah, that's a, that's that's our new yeah. thing. Yeah, this. he told me that it was the same thing too. Yeah, very. What would you say? He told me that it was the same thing as CBDT too. Like it's very. Similar. very you know the characteristics are very similar it's like uncanny how like a, a lot of things are the same both companies have been around a while they have people you know i like these companies that they have uh, they've been around you know a long time they have like shareholders you know who've been at a higher prices so any so right mm -hmm. now basically there's no cheap stock at this level everybody basically is in at higher prices so there's not going to be like selling coming in at you know people who paid five cents that there's not that's not there so uh which is mm -hmm. which is which is very helpful um so you got into cbdt at eight cents so it starts moving up um mm -hmm. now now when did you are you still in it? did you sell what would what, you do i i still i'm still in it i'm still in it a bit but um you know i made that mistake you know if i could turn back time you know obviously i, I wouldn't have sold a big chunk of it around the the 35 cent mark but because you know all <laughs> it's like 90 no, cent no, now. It's, it's, okay but listen but that strategy was working for you so the stock yeah. went to 35 it, because it went parabolic that, that first moved to 35 cents it was kind of that chart again if you you're not looking at charts but if you were yeah, yeah. you were seeing it, it was kind of going parabolic and that was the kind of the first real but you know it's sort of like you could kind of tell like i said this is it was going to break out from there but yeah. um so 35 cents you did how much did you sell if you don't mind me asking like what did you sell most of it or how much did you yeah i think i sold like 70 percent of it and then i, I think I, I took home like 300k i think okay and, and that's when you quit your job yeah that's my quit job and then i started doing uh other penny stocks you, and... not, you retired uh yeah okay. retired yeah <laughs> so uh okay so so cbd uh, well, you know I, I, this is great because you're actually you know this is an honest conversation you 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 got out of yeah. most of it at, at 35 cents the stock yeah. went higher uh now do you regret i mean when, let me ask what were you feeling when the stock hit 250. yeah you know when the stock hit 250 you know i was I, I myself was already you know raking in you know you know a lot of money you know i i think i was really comfortable where, where I, I was at at the moment but then obviously going through my head it was you know you know this it, this could have been bigger for sure <laughs> i mean do you have do you feel let me ask you do you do you feel regret or you kind of moved on i mean you're just like okay whatever next yeah it's kind of moved on yeah yeah i mean there's no reason for me to regret you know i can't turn back time i can't there's literally no reason you know and this goes for all other stocks as well you know this is good advice you know there's no reason why you need to think back about it it only makes you think worse you know move on and you know go on to the next one that, you know I that's that's kind of the winning mindset because people they get stuck with either stocks when they lose money they keep going back playing the record over and over again exactly. and they kind of think about losing uh or or if they maybe sold out then they think oh shit, i missed out i missed out you know so you basically like you you're very you know you're like hey 
it is what it is. Next, next, that's it. Mm -hmm. it exactly. It. And then uh, from then on, I found my own uh, couple, four, four, five bag beers as well, and we're all happy now. So this is, it's, I thought like anybody who's watching this, this stuff, like what you're getting right now from Calvin, like, you know, you didn't read a book about this. This is just something like it was intuitive. I mean, like you, this, is the thinking. Yeah. That, yeah. There's no book. There's no, uh, no, nobody. It, it was uh, the mindset. Did you was from your parents, from the, are, your parents, are your parents like optimistic? Do they think like you? Or no, you no. My it? parents are actually really uh, safe people. They actually <laughs> didn't like what I was doing. <laughs> oh, this is great. Um, okay, so um, yeah, this is some some great great stuff. Okay, so you basically you, you but you still have so you sold most of the CBD. You still have some. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how many shares you're holding? How many shares of CBD right now? Probably like fifty thousand. Oh, okay, so it's so, okay. So you, you that's yeah. a, so that's not much. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, 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 still. Because I, I I have a feeling that that's not going to warrant like it could make another run to two bucks plus, a buck yeah. fifty, two fifty in that range. Uh, and then you know we can see you know what happens from there. But I think I think it's it's got that kind of it's got that kind of energy. No, no, it's still it's still the, the the original reason why you got CBT was because of the CEO. You know that CEO was something else. He had like some like Six Sigma certificate, and you know the way he talks, and you know, and he I think I think when he joined that company, dude, he literally turned around the company by himself. You know, before they were doing some kind of weird stuff, and and then when he got in, you know, he put all this high medical, he did all this testing, you know, did all this stuff that not your regular Joe would would be able to do, right? So that that was one of the key selling points for me on why I got in at such a low price. Okay, so 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 you find value in I guess these CEO interviews that we do because it kind of gives you a sense of who the person is, you know, mm -hmm. all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you want? Have, have, so, have you traded uh, any of our other stocks besides besides these three, or just these three? Which ones? Um. You... So right now I'm in uh, GBLC. Okay. Yeah, GBLC. G I have a. Uh, I think I have like two hundred thousand shares of that right now. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna yeah we're gonna pull up th that chart in a while. Uh, you know, because yeah. I'm, I'm gonna run through a couple of charts. You you can you can you can leave after because we're gonna be talking about charts. But actually, you can you should stay. You'll okay, yeah, stay. yeah, I'll stay. I'll it'll, stay. Be, it'll go in now one ear out the other maybe, but you know who knows. Uh, yeah, yeah. But the GBLC is actually that chart is actually looking pretty good. And yeah. again, it's Bitcoin. You know, like I and I said when I we introduced this company, I said Bitcoin, like you know, uh, whatever. But I like GBLC because it's it's geared. It's highly. It's got a lot of torque. It's highly levered to the Bitcoin. If Bitcoin goes to a hundred thousand, all these type of stocks are going to do very well. So mm -hmm. and, and we'll see what happens. You know. Um, yeah, Bitcoin right now is in really hot space. You know, we're seeing a really big increase in it. So. I, I got into a lot of crypto stocks as well. As well. Okay. Uh, what did I, I? Let me see what some notes I had here. Um, okay. Let's do a plug for Wall Street Reporter. Just say, so. Mm -hmm. What is it that you like about the live streams? Give us the give us the unvarnished truth. What is it that you? The like? live streams are are good because um, you know it's very it's very open, very open ended. You know, it's not it's not you know it's, you get a lot of different questions that people. People ask, you know, you got really a lot of good information, and it really provides that really good positive outlook. You know, where, you know, we were if you go on Yahoo Finance, or you go on, you know, CEO chat, you know, it's filled with these these shorters or these negative people that you know are just there to really just bash these stocks and nothing else. So, so with these live streams, it really provides that you know that that safe the safety net for for us investors that you know it's all going to be okay and it's just because of the timing right now in the market not because of the companies itself yeah no it's it's uh it's interesting because the um you know a, a, a lot of these forms if you go on like a lot of these message boards forms what have you you know Yahoo, yeah. Yeah, it, it's a mix you have either you you definitely have a lot of these bashers and a lot of the bashers I, I, what I've what I've learned is a lot of the guys who are negative are guys who actually don't own the stock anymore. They were they may have lost money in the stock like yeah. you know, a year ago, whatever it is, and they 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 have that they're they're stuck on that thing where they're like yeah. addicted to the like what we talk about. They can't give up on. They're like addicted to that losing thing and that playing that thing over in their head. Oh, I you know it's some weird. It's I'm, I'm not a, psychi a psychologist. It's something weird is there. And then you have and then you have also yet yeah, the other end of the spectrum. You have people who are like part of a cult some stocks mm -hmm. develop a cult and yeah. people become like real believers and like you know they're really 
they don't understand like hey this is a stock this is just a, a, a thing like, why are you sell this is not <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you're not getting married to this this is like you know uh yeah. I, I find I'm that not, i'm not trying to praise them as well you know i'm not trying to you know like i'm not trying, i'm not going to sacrifice something for these stocks as well you know like these are just stocks that are just here to make us money and and, and that's it yeah exactly yeah so it's, it's like i find like some people like, they, get, they get too into it and they're like they're you know they're and you know sometimes the, you know the, these things look a lot of these stocks they kind of have a life that there's a life cycle to these things like there's a life cycle you get in early yeah. you know that either 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 the hype works out or it doesn't work out yeah. uh meaning yeah. that but work out meaning that the company becomes a real company becomes you know billion dollar company and that's like you know i don't know one out of it's like the, it's the venture capital business it's one out of 20 one out of 10. we don't exactly. know which one it is exactly <laughs> So and the other is going like you know they become like zombie stocks. It just happens, exactly. just the way it is. So you know you want to kind of that's why I, I like that's why I mentioned that kind of parlay you know the, the fast lane strategy that um, hey I think I think it makes a lot of sense with the stocks that we're working with for people to get in and if they have a profit of let's say um, you know five x four maybe you, you you pull your principal out. You know, you, let's say you put in ten grand, you're up fifty grand. You pull out your original ten, and you let the rest of other forty ride till it becomes a ten bagger. Mm -hmm. yeah, listen, everybody has their own kind of formula. Either you yeah. go, everybody's different. Like, I wouldn't recommend going really all in in one stock. Yeah, I don't <laughs> recommend it. Yeah, yeah, but, but um, yeah. yeah, I think I think there's some people who have like they're across. I don't know across the you know they're across all them. Now, you, have you met? You've met some. You've met some of the people. From the Discord, from the yes. from our live streams, all you actually met them in real life. Yes, I met one person. I met, I, yeah, I met someone in real life, and uh, he he's been, you know, he's he's just like me, you know, having, you know, being big believers in these companies, going really early on, and then, you know, ultimately making your money. And um, and these people are out there, you know, that's only one of the many people that I know that are, that are on the Discord right now. Okay, so you, you've talked. How many? Let me ask you this: How many? How many people would you say you've talked to? who are kind of like doing what you've done like they're up like big numbers like they're up you know they're up uh you know they started with let's say i don't know 10 grand 50 grand, and they're up you know yeah. a million plus how many would you say have you have you come across i don't know or about six, the million six, plus but six, i six, know six, six, big six, yeah six, but six. yeah a lot of people a lot a lot of, uh there's a couple of people right here that, that that got it from you know five ten grand to you know close to six figures that's it's listen. That's impressive, because I think the, I think you're you're talking to like twenty year old guys, basically. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. girls. Like, yeah. I think I think we do, we actually do have. Believe it or not, we actually do have. You know, ninety percent of the audience is like because I see the, the demographics from YouTube, whatever. It's like ninety percent male, 30, 22 to thirty, whatever. But we do actually have. We have probably I because I, I see we have members who are female, right? They're female names, right? Like Jennifer. Mm -hmm. Uh, so she's she uh, she put a thing that she made a bunch of money in fans and CBD. Uh, so we definitely have. Uh, th there's definitely women making money with these things. Could be so, women uh, better investors in theory. Another another good advice too is that you know some I, I understand that some people tend to buy high at these prices, but you have to understand when you buy a high and when it goes down, that's your opportunity to buy the dip. That's your opportunity to average down. Okay. You know, when you're buying to these companies, why are you buying in the first place? Because you believe the story. So when it goes down, you know, you, it, that's not a panic time for you. That's a, that's a, that's a good time for you because then you're, you're able to average down and, you know, eventually keep on averaging down. And then when it goes up, then your average is now at a lower price. Yeah. You know, I, I, it's interesting. I'm not a believer in the average down thing because I always think that, you know, it's like, uh, it's it's you know there's a, there's an expression I learned from a trader was like loser losers a, uh, losers average losers in other words once something is a loss you average it down it becomes another law you know it's sort of mm -hmm. like it, either like you believe like this is for some Paul Tudor Jones that was the guy he says he he basically aver would average up if something is if, if the thing is working out then he adds more oh, okay different yeah it's a different but I, it's everybody's got like that's I, I guess that's the point of this there is no one right answer for there any is. of these. It, it, these are all very individual things for people for their individual psychology um yeah so i yeah it's all geared towards you know when i when i talk to new people about investing you know what is your goal here are you trying to make money 
you know, what do you see yourself in one year? What do you see yourself in 10 years? You know, if you want to just have something stable, you know, go in the blue chips, go in the index funds, go in the ETFs. But if you're, if you're looking to make money down in three to six months, then you can, you know, if you're in three months, you know, maybe you can put it on one stock. If you want six months, you can maybe put it into three different stocks. You know, it's so many different type of investing that, you know, you really need to find out what works for you so that you can be comfortable and you can, you know, think best at it. Okay. Uh, by the way, it, it, all you people watching, ask Calvin your questions. I mean, this is this is the point is ask Calvin your questions. Calvin, you're going to answer questions, right? Calvin, you there? Yeah. Any? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Hello. Yes. So. So. Yes. Yeah. So everybody's watching. Yeah. You know, please ask Calvin your questions. Uh, let's let's learn about this. Um. So what? Um. By the way, I guess one question I have is: Did you buy the lime green Lamborghini, which is what you're supposed to do when you first make the big score? Sorry, sir. Buy what? Did you buy? Did you buy the lime green Lamborghini? <laughs> no, 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 no Lamborghini, no Lamborghini for me yet. Um, I, I did buy a Toyota, but uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe down the line, maybe next year. Smart. So when did you buy the Toyota? Uh, like about four months ago. But oh, okay. um, so, but you so, know, but but, so you, but while, you know, my parents. Uh, go ahead. Sorry. So my parents are, you know, I'm coming, you know, my, my type of family, you know, we're not, we're not the flash type of people, you know, I, this, this all to me is so new, so fresh, and I'm still trying to learn what to, what to do, but, you know, it's, it all comes down to always just staying humble and staying, you know, you know, staying true to yourself and, you know, don't let this, don't let this over, over overtake the true goal in, in front of you still. Exactly. No, this is actually uh, completely, completely, one hundred percent right on. Because yeah, this is what a lot of guys would do. Is that's just, this is what keeps the, the the Lambo dealers in business. Is you know, somebody as soon as somebody makes somebody they, they blow it on something stupid. Uh, but uh, yeah. all right, so um, great. Yeah, because the shit you keep the Toyota, Toyota. You know, put you have more capital to work with. Um, yeah. Yeah. Let, let that let the capital work for you. Uh, it's it's instead of you know liabilities. Uh, yeah. So okay, let me ask you this: What you know? I guess the question is, what advice would you give to somebody? Because we have a lot of people who are probably kind of watching this, who are going to be watching this later, who probably like you, right? They might be mm -hmm. twenty five, right? Whatever it is, thirty. You know, mm -hmm. you know, um, and they might be just wanting to get into. Um, Mm -hmm. you know, these type of let's say well, they they're hearing about penny stocks, right? Penny stocks. Oh, they hear oh, mm -hmm. it's risky or whatever. Or what? What advice would you give them to get so, so they want to start or whatever? So my advice is that you know you, you you know we all know that the market is huge. You know how many stocks are there? You know there's tons of stocks out there. There's tons of winners out there. Tons of losers out there. But you know how I eventually got into these was I narrowed down to what industries I wanted to focus on. You know, fans was truly the esports. You know, I thought esports betting was going to be huge. CBT was you know because I you know I was in the teledoc space already, the health industry already. You know, I knew that this was going to be big as well because of you know the the, the point of COVID we were at, and then. You know gblc bitcoin you know that's all obviously another no-brainer so you know I'm, I'm leaving out a lot of different industries as well that are making money you know like like software like you know mining like like ah, oil and gas you know and whatever else there. but then I, I did this because you know i didn't want to be so confused and so distracted from what i wanted to really focus on because you know i understood that you know you know, there's so many windows that I can't pick them all, right? You know, I, I don't have the ability to do this. So I really, really took a took a deep dive into, you know, what I truly believe in. And this is why I suggest for others as well, you know, really, really understand and go back to understand what kind of investor you are. are you, you know, what areas are you strong in? What are you areas do you believe in? And then eventually, you know, you don't have to go on the penny stocks as well. You can go in the mid, small mid cap, but then basically risk tolerance, but it's really towards, you know, finding out what works best out for you and, taking that risk okay but uh so it's interesting so basically you're kind of a top-down investor you look at a theme you look at the kind of the sector so what's working and then you kind of then you look for stocks in that sector for example whether it's esports sports betting or mm -hmm. you know the, the healthcare space that's kind of the first mm -hmm. thing you look for 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that, that, that's, that, that's the first thing I look for. Yeah, you're looking you're looking basically for like a big trend. Like Bitcoin is the trend, so you want exactly. to look at that wave. Exactly, trend is a very important word here because you know, you know, we're we're seeing a we're seeing really crazy stuff right now on Reddit and all this. You know, retail investors joining in. You know, all these investors right now aren't aren't looking are aren't aren't your smart people as well. They're just people like me looking for different different stocks to go on, different hype to go on. And you know, if you if you essentially pick out the hype before it becomes a hype, you know, you're already winning. So let me ask you this, what do you think is going to be the next big trend like, you know, like a Bitcoin or esports? What do you think is going to be the next big theme? I, that's a really hard thing, but you know anything you know anything towards Bitcoin right now is really big. You know we're seeing. I think I, I didn't know if you saw, but you saw that artwork being sold for like sixty nine million dollars or something on the on F, NFT network. It was just some you know random that Bitcoin. Piece that of thing, art. I, that, well, I think there was like I mean that is like uh, I mean I think that's <laughs> I mean, that's I don't want to say scary. I mean something is weird as bizarre <laughs> there. You know, it's yeah, like something I, weird is something going on. Yeah, it's either some money washing or whatever, or some it's, big it's, hype. It's, I mean, it's not because you know, look, I mean, I, I I was involved in the art business for a long time, like you know, uh, at the high level. Nobody's paying because that thing that sold for. Six, I mean, it's a piece of shit. I mean, the guy's a he's like a commercial artist. I mean, he's a very good commercial art. Nobody, there's not, not a serious. There's nobody's paying that kind of money for. I mean, mm -hmm. anybody who knows it. So this must have been like, I think there might be some guy who either. Is a Bitcoin guy who somebody who probably has five hundred million. It's something bizarre, or it doesn't make any sense. It, what, it's a piece. Of, what do you get? A piece of software, and you're, not a software. What do you get? Like a code? What is the NFT, mm -hmm. Calvin? Maybe you're you're, you're, it's, you're a computer it's just guy. Some kind of code? artwork that can never be replicated on the on the network. I can just hang a painting on my wall. Why do I? You yeah. Know, I mean, yeah, yeah. that's the whole idea. Is I think the the reason why people buy art or anything is to. I mean, they want to look at it all the time. They want to have to turn it on a computer. And, yeah, it's kind of also, you know, to show off. Like, hey, here's my Picasso. Yeah. Everybody yeah. knows what yeah. that is. Here's my, you yeah. know, Warhol, my Basquiat. You know, everybody knows what that is. You know, yeah, you're not going to impress. You're not going to impress girls. Hey, check out my uh, NFT, you know? I mean, come on. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. an open but, um, but something did say something uh, good, though. You know, luck is definitely plays a part in this, you know. You know, but you can play luck to your favor you know like you know you can you know I, I you know when luck this you know a good example of this is that you know you have these you know otc penny socks you know if you were to go into one of them and expect it to go up like you know five five hundred percent that's luck because you have you know that's you're 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 basically trying to play bet it on the fact that volume is going to come on it but you know when you deep dive into these fundamentals and these areas of interest and you invest in them with with you know confidence you know you have luck to your favor you know luck luck is uh you know you don't need that much luck because you already picked out what you truly believe in yeah you basically i mean there's luck there's a, there's, there's definitely an element of luck right i mean to have sure. three parlays in a row it requires some luck right because you could have had i mean you could have been stuck with a dog stock the second one yes or yes. the third one i mean instead of instead of cbd you could have bought i don't know some stock that didn't go anywhere yeah right I could have. yeah so there's definitely but but at the same time i mean you're kind of you're playing with there there is there you know you i always believe like with our kind of formula with like like say the next super stock formulas i'm looking for that i call it basically it's, a, it's like a sure thing so the odds are stacked in your favor so the company is in the right theme you know they got they got catalysts they're at an inflection point and then the 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 secret ingredient is you know, Wall Street Report or, you know, everything, we're going to promote that stock. We're going to, you know, put all our, all our resource into getting as many people to, to discover the stock as possible in the next, like, six months. Institutions, retail, family offices, what have you. So, and this, like, the YouTube thing is just a tiny part of what we do. So that, mm -hmm. that really helps things out. Like, the more people know about the story, the more, you know, so that's kind of like a, a, an edge. Um, okay, so number one, you, you pick the big theme. You look, what else, what else are you looking for? Um, oh yeah, the the fundamentals of the company is really important. The CEO. What else? <laughs> what's yeah. what's that? Of the <laughs> of the company itself, you know, what are the catalysts? You know, what what are the future outlook of this company itself? You know, CBT was a great example. You know, they had testing, they had was psychedelic, they had they had you know like uh, like they had like 
clinics they had you know all this other cool stuff and they had a great ceo so that to me was a really good fundamental that you know this business just clearly needed time and clearly needed some capital for it to 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 to, to, to be a big player uh yeah yeah no it's but do you uh but i i, I kind of get the sense that essentially you watch a live stream right? you, you you look for a theme that that's working and then you kind of watch the live stream to say okay yeah, does the company have a good story does the ceo like exactly. good and are other people going to get into that stock in other words what are, yeah. is this something that's going to get traction in the market exactly the story is really important like yeah. the story by, is by, like, by, fund, by fundamentals you're not talking about you, you don't you know start looking through the earnings uh filings and all that stuff no 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 no. i i don't i don't look through any of this yeah i I let the i let the smarter you know i i do give it you know i do ask some people about it and then they just briefly tell me about it because i don't understand it myself but you know those those noise don't really affect me okay okay which you know which you know kind of makes a lot of i mean really that's i think the the way you kind of have to look at a lot of these stocks i mean we always say hey you got to do your due diligence blah 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 but at the end of the day there's you're never going to get I, I i don't think you're ever going to get like some like any magical thing from because these there's not enough stuff there yet you basically yeah. buy things like on the come here it's here's i i think you really what i really say is you're really betting on the ceo you're really betting on hey you're betting on the jockey not the horse like yeah. this guy does this guy have what it takes really to make this company a winner and and, and you know you kind of find that i find that you know, a good CEO can take a company that's that's you know crappy company or mediocre or whatever it is, and he can you know transform it through acquisitions or like like Steve with CBD. We I, I use a good example is uh, was it Next Tech? The, you know what Evan did? You know he bought that um, uh, you know that streaming thing. So that was a transformative thing. I mean that really changed the whole dynamics. You know once so so and they were able to raise capital and there's all you know other examples like for example uh, Skylight is doing that right now, but. Uh, I think you know so it's it's a good ceo is is the key thing uh so maybe that is the um is the thing and wall street reporter is actually really good because you guys actually vet through all the stock that you guys uh you know are, are on there you know you guys already did the hard work for us actually we do a little bit we're not like but i don't i don't again i'm not like going through spreadsheets and all that i kind of look at i calvin to be honest i kind of look at it very similar to the way you do like basically <laughs> i look at okay, this thing makes sense is a company more or less legit and hey, is the C is the ceo going to be a winner you know mm -hmm. it's and what else is involved this is a, i don't i mean you really can't go in, i mean I, I i've never found that going doing deep, deep analysis or the, you know you know uh, through you know spreadsheets and all that has ever you know paid off with these um okay so let's get into uh okay i want to i want to get to some audience questions here uh da, 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 da. uh okay okay oh. I, Kevin, is, is the lock? I mean, you're, this is not affecting you in any way. You're still going to be trading, essentially, pretty much. Yeah, you? I'm going to be trading, but you know, I'm, I'm going to be trading down somewhere hot and somewhere warm, and you know, somewhere away from 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 Vancouver for sure. <laughs> uh, how did you find out about Wall Street Reporter? Uh, YouTube, YouTube. I, I think I just stumbled upon my uh, one of my one of my searches, and when I searched for uh, Cloud MD, just stumbled upon it, and you know, I was really happy that. To find you guys so that's uh, okay so uh question did you have a strategy in mind when you started or have you made it up kind of as you went along as things were working um yeah it was kind of like made up on the way you know it wasn't you know my, my i had a strategy that i was going to all in for sure but um so that was from day one you knew you were going to all in parlay one after the other yeah yeah from from day one i already knew i was going to all in i i i knew that i was going to all in until i had enough money to do to to diversify that was from my first first time about about cloud and me that was already my 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 initial goal here okay um do you like the psychedelic stocks um yeah i like psychedelic stocks i, I bought a bit of trip before and uh I, I think there's some good uh, future outlook, but um, okay. just just gotta be cautious because uh, you know this boom here is it's still very fresh, so need some time. Exactly. Well, you got in. Well, you got in and out of trip. You were in and out quick. Yeah, I was in and out trip. Yeah, just just wasn't just wasn't moving for for a bit. I think I, th I think it's a good time to get in though. It's a good time. You know, I, I I with these stocks, you know, with now with my 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 style, you know, I like to wait about a month or two. You know, I'm. 
now it's a different moment before you know obviously I, I i had more time for it but now i'm looking towards you know more one or two months and if it's not moving then um, i'm pretty much done with it I'll, I'll be back later when it starts moving up again okay so you're kind of you're kind of you're kind of a momentum investor basically yeah now i am yeah and I, okay so in other words if a stock at this point is not moving so wait but if you did that if you did that you wouldn't have made if you had that mindset with like fans you would have been out of it at like 30 cents you wouldn't exactly have exactly so so before so this mindset really changed w within the last month or so but um this is because of this huge trajectory but um but if it wasn't with for it you know it would be just putting your money into one stock and and just waiting for it yeah exactly uh let me see here what um Okay, so what else? So basically, you, you want you want you want you're looking for that big trend. You kind of look for the CEO. What else are you looking? For? Anything else that, that that's important to to kind of keep an eye on? Um, I think I think another important part is you know don't you know don't don't treat this as your primary source of income. You know, before you know, I wasn't always thinking that I was going to get rich off this. You know, I wasn't always going to think you know I'm I'm going to be driving my Lambo. You know, just have fun and just let it ride. You know, there's no, there's no point of it. You know, always thinking about it every day. Continue on doing what you enjoy and what, and what you like to do, and let this, you know, and let this just, just run up one day, and you'll be happy because, you know, the more you think about it, you know, the more distracted you are. You know, focus on what you can do in order to make more capital. That's a very important part. What can you do yourself to make more capital so you can get further into the stock market instead of relying on the stock market to, you know, to to get you that to get you that point man you, you're dropping some like amazing points here um i mean i'm i'm, I'm so you have, you have some I mean, incredibly for a 23 year old <laughs> if, you, i mean you know you, 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 you got incredible wisdom here, because this is actually very very important is, is that you know there's a, that saying you know scared scared money doesn't make money right mm -hmm. and, and if somebody like like they're relying on you know stock like hey they're going all in and they're worried that they're going to lose it that this is you know that they're not they don't have cat you can't i mean you can't it, i but actually but so you know that it, it screws up their mind but actually but here's the thing but you're kind of in that position in a way no because now you're just doing this as a full-time job yeah i still have my own businesses that you okay. know help, are, are, are are starting to provide me you know income and stuff like that but you know at this point you know i'm not even scared of, about the market anymore you okay. know it, you know it can fall you know i i, I think i lost a couple hundred k you know with the last couple of weeks here and didn't seem to phase me at all i'm still really the same person that <laughs> that you've already if you were to met me like you know three months ago. okay important okay, so you, you so you're down a couple hundred grand the last few weeks yeah yeah and this is all this, yeah and this is all normal to me you know okay. i've already understood that you know this was going to happen you know i can't always expect it to go uh, up every day right so exactly exactly so so you have uh, so basically so what else you, so you have other sources you have other sources i think mean, what do you do you, i think you're doing are you doing like online marketing or something what is yeah your, i do a lot of online marketing and online e-commerce and and uh you know starting my own websites for uh for a lot of stuff so i'm a you know i'm a digital kind of guy you know the okay. digital area has always been my you're you're like you're really you could be like a commercial for that whole thing. you know like you're living the the laptop lifestyle what do they call the laptop entrepreneurs or you know the digital nomad, nomad. Like the digital, yeah, nomad. digital nomad exactly you know, yeah digital nomad uh, <laughs> yeah, could, amazing, yeah amazing stuff here um okay let's see here what is oh here we go uh what's the most you've put in in one stock in a single trade uh 150k okay in in one in one in one trade yeah, one trade. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, which was which one? What was that? Was that? Um, um I think uh, it was one of these uh, recent crypto stocks I did. But within okay. the Wall Street Reporter area, the the biggest trade I've done was I put in seventy eight k, and my biggest cash out was two hundred k. Okay. So it was basically the CBD. CBD was yeah, one yeah. that we put in the eighty exactly. grand. Okay. Exactly, so that yeah. was eight grand, and that became okay. Uh, and then you still have fifty thousand left. Yeah. 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 So just just to be clear, though, I just <clears throat> there's the disclaimer. So basically, with with the Wall Street Reporter stocks, you've made I think really it's like five hundred grand, and that you use yeah. that as capital because to to buy other stuff, like other stock, like you're doing other exactly. stuff now, right? Exactly. Like exactly. you're involved in like I don't know how many stocks are you involved in right now. Yeah. So that's another good point. I only have five stocks. Okay. And they're all penny stocks. Okay. <laughs> so you can see that. 
you know, you would expect someone like me to have, you know, 20, 30 stocks. No, I still s stick to this one, this key strategy of, you know, keeping it low, letting it, letting the gains come. And, you know, obviously I can expect volatility, but, but, you know, when it goes up, it goes up big. Okay. So it's a very full, it's a focused bet. It's, it's sort of like, you know, it's like Warren Buffett says, Hey, you know, adults, what is it? The, the, put, he says, put your eggs in one basket, but watch that basket closely. So all yeah. in. But you know, maybe it's a few stocks. But you know, you watch. You know, that's you're committed to those stocks. Exactly. Okay. Uh, I think you know there's something you mentioned, and I kind of I, I I I got distracted. I think you said something about a high conviction or something. Is that is that the thing you're basically you're, you're is it, it's when you get into these deals you have a high conviction in the, in the trade. High conviction. What is a uh, high conviction? Like you you really you have. Um, high confidence in that in that particular stock yes 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 any stock that you know i put in you know you can ask me any question i'm able to type you you know a, a big big essay on it you know when people you know i like it when people start arguing with me because you know you know some you know i can give you so many pointers that i can make you from you know from bearish to bullish just just like that i'm and i've really? converted but, so but how, how do you but how, how are you how are you doing that if you don't really study the deep like how where are you get like what data it's, points it's are? just a lot based on what the future outlook is i don't okay. give i don't give you know pointers based on you know their fundamental their balance sheet their whatever no it's all on the future outlook um on what on what okay. it can do so that's how i'm able to you know you know i you know i like to put myself in their shoes as well you know what okay. can they do to help the stock, you know, bounce up. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So let's let's welcome a, a Bueller, Ferris Bueller here, a new new member of our channel. Um, okay. Let me just put on uh, Calvin. You know, I, it's right now. Actually, it's time for to, for us to do the chart chat part. Yeah. You want to hang out? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Charts. I know you're not a chart guy, but we have a lot of people who are. I'm, I'm only we only have time for a few because actually my battery here is running low, so <laughs> I'm gonna do a few, uh, which will uh, let's let, let me just pull up, uh, let me just put this up over here, uh, and let me do a screen share, uh, share screen. Uh, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna show the GBLC right now. Actually, I think that's that's the one that's up right now, is it? Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna look through this chart right now. Okay. So let's talk about the chart. Okay. So Calvin, let me tell you what I'm looking at. <clears throat> I'm looking at the short term chart right now. This is the one hour chart. This is what you awesome. like short term, right? <laughs> short term. Uh, let me actually let me let me zoom out for a second. Let me do the, like the regular daily. So you see I had this big run up right here. You know the stock. I mean, if you look right, it's bounced off the support. The the, six, the sixteen cents. That was the key support. Uh, just March 5th had a nice little run uh, I want to show you this uh, right here I mean the chart kind of looks like it's kind of ready to, to kind of coil up but I, I want to look at uh, the one hour uh, so here's what's interesting you got a head and shoulders formation here uh, right now this thing it closed Friday it looked like it really was ready to break out of that 22 cents and it closed right above this 50 point moving average or 50 period it's not 50 days it's 50 periods uh, 50 hours basically moving average so from Monday this looks actually pretty good I think this is a stock that Monday is in a good position and of course with Bitcoin uh what is Bitcoin is 60 Calvin what's Bitcoin yeah. 60,000 now yeah 60 over 60,000 US dollar with 60,000 it's, it's in a great position um let me pull up TBP this is a new stock we introduced I mean again uh, looks very similar to you know the charts we had like at CBD early on. Uh, so you had this nice pop right the day uh, when we announced it. And of course, if you're a member of our Platinum, if you had the Platinum membership on our on our the, the YouTube channel subscription, you would have been notified of that in advance. So you'd have gotten it and you'd have gotten all the commentary. So uh, Cal, I'm not talking about just you. I'm talking about everybody. So everybody, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, they, they would they would have been up. Now the stock has pulled back. It's hanging out right at that moving average right now. Uh, I and I got the short term chart here. I got the one hour chart. Uh, it's kind of forming like a, I would say it's almost like a like a flag, a pennant formation. I think it, we're going to see a bounce off this eighteen cents. In, this thing needs to go above twenty two cents. This you have this gap over here. 
from uh, about uh, you know last month. I think once once TBP closes twenty five cents, once it closes at that level, then it's going to be really like game on. This stock is going to become it just like exactly what I said with CBDT. I think I put it out on a, on a tweet when the stock hit fifteen cents. I said fifteen cent stocks become twenty five cent stocks. <laughs> it's just the way it is, right? When they when when a, when a five cent stock becomes a fifteen cent, the next stop is twenty five, and twenty five becomes you know fifty to a dollar. Uh, same thing here with, with with TBP. Once it hits a quarter, at that point, it's going to attract a whole new level of investors. People are going to you know you're going to have a lot of momentum. People jumping in. I think even Calvin might jump in on TBP at a quarter. Yep. For sure. uh, would you actually have? I, I was kidding. Would you jump? When, what would you? When would you jump in on a stock like that? Once it's moving, or when? I would actually jump in like right now. If, 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 if you know, for me, for me, I would jump in mid moving. But you know, for the regular investor, if you believe in the story and you believe in, the, <laughs> you believe in the, in the fun, you know, the future outlook. You know, a couple cents here don't don't, they have, don't, don't matter. You know, exactly. And they actually, they have, they have. They have a lot of the, the things. Okay, so it's a big theme. You know, they got the you know the uh, drug development based on the you know cannabinoids, uh, very similar to like GW Pharma that was bought out for you know billions of dollars. So they're doing they're in the right space, uh, mm -hmm. all all the right things. Uh, it's kind of you know they raised a bunch of money, so things are looking good. Let me look at another chart. But uh, for, but 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 um, that, that's because I haven't done any of my uh, my my research though. I've been uh, very lazy. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Uh, okay, VST. Here's another interesting one, actually, which is really poised. I think VST is going to be one of the big movers this week. I mean, this chart really looks like an amazing, amazing setup right now. We did get faked out a couple of times, but this chart right here, again, this is the daily chart. You kind of see this like pen. It, 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 it just looks like it just wants to break out of here. Look at this. It closes, uh, keeps closing at the highs. I mean, if you look at the close, the daily action here. The stock really keeps wanting to go up, and, and you're gonna. It's again, it's been bouncing off the support at seventy three mm -hmm. I think we could see this thing at a buck fifty. Yeah, this one's really good. Aren't they into fans as well? Like they own like fans, and they have their esports stuff own, coming out. Yeah, they own. Well, that's the thing, man. That's the thing I love about it. I mean, the way I look at it is the way you look at it. Okay, <clears throat> you know, basically, I, I I call it the unicorn farm because they're basically a venture. Essentially, they're a venture capital company, right? So they they mm -hmm. own. They have positions in 20 different, um, you know, early stage, you know, disruptive technology companies. Fans was one of their first winners. So fans, mm -hmm. um, you know, they they got it. They 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 spun that out back in was it last May? They're going to be spinning out a new company called um, Game On in a yes. short any moment yes. now. Yes. Did you see? The, did you see the live stream with the Game On CEO? By the way, I did. I saw the Game On thing. It was really. Good. I saw so the I pitch too. It was really good. It's really good, actually. Got me really Which interested. In that. I saw the pitch they did for the game on. I, re I read their investor pitch as well. It's really good. You like? Did you like this? Yeah, you like you like the CEO, huh? Yeah, I like him too. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, the guy's the guy's good. I think I think that that thing is gonna do very well. So that, I mean, my biggest regret though is ESE though. Oh, you missed out on the ESE? Yes, I. And that's right up your alley. That's an esports deal. And you. 60 70 cents you know i told them that you know i'll we, yeah i know i told them we were going to get into it right away but you know i i, I eventually faked out and you know i missed out on another 5x kind of game there hey, that, wait, wait, is such Calvin, a Calvin, the, the internet broke up a second so so what happened with the es just repeat what so happened. i was watching your stream with uh with my friend okay. i think it was around the 60 70 cent mark you know but then uh, and then i told him you know we, we were both going to go in. he actually went on it but I hesitate. I didn't go on it, and you know, and eventually, you know, we saw that you know this went up like what, like three dollars or something. Right? Well, it's up, that, it's, that, up yeah. it's up fourteen, like thirteen x or fourteen x. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, ESC was you know in, in, insanely huge. So four x. Hey, so, so you miss a few. So so um, okay. So so this uh, so VST. So here's what here's kind of what I like from the fundamental side. Besides the chart, I think is going to be a breakout chart. Is they got they got like 20, 20 more of these unicorns potential unicorns in the yeah. in the pipeline. So you yeah. got VST that that's already out. They got they got a piece of that. Um, you got this game on that's going to be out in um, in a few weeks, I think. And then they have another company that they're going to be uh, spinning out uh, in probably another few months. So there's going to be a lot of deals now. Out of their twenty 
deals? Are they going to be all billion dollar or hundred million? No, most of them are going to go bust, right? But yeah, all you need is three of them, four of them to work out like fans, but and that's they did that's learn a lot them. though. They learned a lot from their previous success, so you know odds are actually better in their favor now because they have all the experience of what they need to do to make this a big company. Exactly. So, so, so essentially, this thing, hundred percent. That's exactly right. So these guys have actually no. They had listen. Every company has a learning curve, right? So they, yeah. yeah, like these guys have learned a lot with fans and the whole public experience. They're, I mean, again, they're they're a public company only a couple of years, right? So they've been through the whole up and down. And uh, let me show you also the chart. What I like about the chart is, if you look at the okay, so Max, so this stock at one point was four bucks, uh, and I always believe it, and that these things can always go back to their old highs. It's just one of those things I have, right? And so I think this could easily be a four dollar stock this year. Uh, once, but it's going to happen once they kind of spin out a few more of these deals. Probably after the next one, after not after Game One, but the next one that they're going to spin out, uh, because then people are going to realize, wow, yeah, they get involved in some kind of blockchain stuff too. If they get into like some Bitcoin related stuff, I think they are already in some Bitcoin related stuff. They got, they they go yeah, they got, they got, they got a bunch of different deals. They got health tag. They got a bunch of stuff that they. What I like about it is they can have stuff to talk about forever. And they have all the, yeah. they're all the hot themes, basically. I mean, this is like yeah. all the hot themes. Health tech, digital health, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Esports, uh, mm -hmm. AR, everything. So this thing is, um, yeah, this thing is, is, is really good. Uh, let me just see here. Uh, we got Bueller. All in uh, UNSS. Uh, uh, I don't know this company, but uh, okay. Uh, let's see here. We got um, Liquid Avatar. Do you know that stock, Liquid Avatar? K oh, it was the old symbol was Cabin. It was Cabin. Oh yes, yes, Cabin. Yes, that's uh, yeah. That, that, the, yeah, I think they did the security stuff, right? I think the they're doing actually. Actually, I think they're going to be do. I mean, they're actually involved in that. What do you call it? NFT? The NF the uh, the, what do you call the blockchain? The NFT thing? What do I call yeah. the NFT network? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So they are, and you know, they're doing. Uh, yeah. So they're, they're what is it? They're doing the the digital identity. Very interesting stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Let me pull up. Oh, uh, yeah. We're gonna. The lights going down. It's gonna get dark here. I'm out. So I'm gonna. We're gonna wrap up in just a little bit. Okay. So. so v VSP is looking good. Uh, we got uh, trip. Are you? Are you? You were in and out of trip, right? Yeah, trip. Yeah. Okay. So I think actually trip is actually looking interesting. I think trip. Uh, let's see here. I think this is going to be one of the big winners of the year here. The psychedelic space. It's this. This thing is is a little bit on the defense right now. It's kind of hanging out here. It's, it's looking really for for a direction. It's looking for some news. It's looking for some news to really move it. I think this this is a stock that people. I think there's people who have, who are looking for an excuse to buy it because. A lot of eyes are on on it right now. They like psychedelics, but they're kind of saying, "Hey, let, we got to see what this company if they have some, you know, some sub, substantive stuff going on, right? They want to see some acquisitions, things like that." So uh, let me look at another one, uh, Relic. It's one of our new ones here. Yeah, I saw Relic before when there was like ten, like way before, like twenty ten cents. I think it was been has been on the watch list. This has been another regret too. This is uh, this thing is actually looking pretty good. I think this is. Uh, let me see. This is the one day. Uh, let me look at uh, okay. So the one-hour chart, it's uh, you know it's kind of on the defense. I, I think I think Monday is going to be a good day for this. <clears throat> Once it breaks above this, um, you know, sixty-five cents, really seventy cents, it's going to be kind of it, it. It needs to regain the mojo. But this company has you know great fundamentals. They're in the right space. The, the remote patient monitoring space, digital health, all the great things going for it. Calvin, this one is right up your alley. Bets. Yes, I saw this one too. They're, I think they're they're in India right now, right? They're st they're doing well. The main the, the market that they're starting off with right now is uh, India. Yeah, so so you know uh, I think it was the uh, uh, poker though skill skilled because you can't do like yeah. sports betting, but skilled stuff, uh, fantasy pools, whatever. You know, this chart looks amazing right now. I mean, this is you got kind of like a head and shoulders kind of this thing like wants to bust out like. You're gonna see. I think Monday this thing is gonna break out above seventy cents, and you know, eighty-five. Once it goes back to eighty-five, it's gonna be so. Really, yeah, ninety cents. This is kind of like this is kind of your breakout area. This is gonna be, in my opinion, uh, you know, buck fifty in about 
uh, a week, a week to ten days. I'm bullish on the Indian market. That's for sure. Charles looks great. Yeah. Um, let's see here. What do we got here? We got ESC. I'm gonna pull up this ESC just to make you feel bad here. <laughs> uh, uh, so we got ESC three bucks. It's holding very strong here. It's building like a nice little base from which you could bounce off. I, I mean, this thing is again. It's another stock that's looking for an excuse to go higher. Uh, so what do we got happening? You got uh, you, uh, head and shoulders thing kind of happening here. But again, it's it's hanging out here, looking. You know, it's, this stock is right here, looking for an excuse to go higher. Once it breaks above this moving average, like yeah, you know, what's called three and a quarter, three fifty. If this thing breaks three fifty again, it's going to be game on with this thing. Um, let's go to CBDT here, fan favorite CBDT, <laughs> Calvin, Calvin, CBDT here. Uh, this is going to be. I think you're going to make money with this still. You got you still have shares, right? Yeah, this one, this this one's definitely going to, to to places here. You know, this 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 downfall was because of some shorters or whatever. You know, created some panic selling or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, you know what's you know what's interesting? I think okay, so you were in it, uh, eight cents, and I remember when it was thirty cents. Do you remember that live stream that first time it went to thirty cents and uh, and it was like thirty five, and then it dropped like two pennies. And this and and Steve, he, you know, the CEO was on our live stream. And the, all the questions were like, "Why is why did I the stock stop moving? Why did the stock?" Yeah. And that created a panic actually in the in the chat. There was yeah. some like newbies or maybe it was shorters, yeah. but like they were saying, "Why is the stock going down like a penny or two?" And mm -hmm. you know, we had a thousand people on that live stream, right? I remember, yeah. and, that, and that actually created a panic. All of a sudden, you saw people, a lot of newbies, fl you know, they they kind of like freaked out. Oh my god, it's crashing! Because mm -hmm. somebody, it's it's almost like somebody was yelling fire in a crowded theater, right? And like you know, and, and see, so and the stock dropped, and of course, yeah, that was thirty cents. They were worried about two pennies, and you know, it's two fifty a month later, basically yeah. six months later, yeah. it's two fifty. <laughs> so, so you know, by the way, which is one of the reasons why I moved to this kind of um, membership for the live chat. It's for members only because I want to avoid that type of situation. I don't want to have a you know people just random shorters or whatever in the mm -hmm. chat just saying, hey, why is you know like. I, I figure even if somebody's paying ten bucks a month, it kind of weeds out a lot of the riffraff. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, um, so the CBDT uh, is—I mean, this thing actually is, is in really good shape. I'm going to look at the daily chart here. Uh, it's amazing! This thing has held up really well here. This chart, Calvin. I know you hate charts. This mm -hmm. thing looks like it's going to explode right now. I mean, this thing looks like it's going to. I mean, this thing looks like it wants to go to five dollars. <laughs> I, mean, no, I mean, no, I'm okay. I don't know. About I mean, this thing really right now. You have to realize for what happened with this thing. <clears throat> they, you know, had a massive parabolic run. Like you just moved where it went from like that fifty cents to two fifty yeah. straight up in a week. I mean, that's not sustainable for stocks. It should have. I would. I would really would have preferred that stock hung around in the dollar fifty range for like a month and build a base and then. From there, it could go to two fifty or three dollars. Mm -hmm. That would have been perfect. But hey, things don't go. Yeah, it's not. Never, mm -hmm. Nothing ever works the way you want it. So it just went crazy. So it has to. So these things, Calvin, have you noticed that the more they go up, uh, crazy, they have moves. The the, the the pullback is usually like 60, 80 percent. Yes. yes. Not, it's not. It's not twenty five percent. It's sixty or eighty percent. Yeah. Yeah. It's big. It's big dramatic pullbacks. I think, especially in Canada, because. You know, you have so many speculators in these stocks who they have people, they're so paranoid with these. They, they have no faith in them. They, they know that any of these can, they, because I think a lot of investors, they think everything is a pump and dump, right? So they say, shit, when this thing runs, let's get out. It's never going to come back yeah. because yeah. They're, they're paranoid, you know? Um, so, yeah, so this thing really looks like it wants to explode. I think tomorrow and the next, this week, I believe this week is going to be a massive week for CBDT. Yeah, so, um, this anybody, thing is trending too. It's like it's it's gaining a lot of traction right now. Like every time I look at Yahoo Finance, it's at the top there. It's trending, 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 and that means a lot too. You know what's interesting? I thought that's that's that you made a, a, a shit. You guys are getting so much value from Calvin right now. This guy's dropping major bombs here. I mean, one of the things I look at is. Is the stock getting tr that traction, you know, in, with with investors? In other words, are we getting more audience every time the CEO shows up? 
mm-hmm. is it, what's happening on message boards. That's one of the things that I, we kind of look for. And with uh, CBD, Steve's audience, the last live stream he had, he may have had 2,000 people. If you count between YouTube, there's like 1,200 and like other other platforms were on simultaneously, whether it's like, uh, what is it? Uh, the, the Twitter thing. What is that called? The uh, uh, Starquits? No, no, no. The thing, the, the live stream that goes on Twitter and, and Facebook. The other, Periscope? So Periscope, yeah. Okay. Um, by the way, I think they're going to, I think they're going to stop Periscope. I think they're going to shut it down. Uh, okay. It's unfortunate. Yeah, it's a good thing. Um, but yeah, so, so, so CBD, so his audience keeps growing up by 25% every yeah. time he shows up. Yeah. It, can, it keeps going up. It's not, it's not stagnant. It keeps going up. Same thing also with Peak, PKK, Peak FinTech. Yeah, that one's getting a lot of traction too. That one's going to be I think, huge. I think that's another one you missed out on, man. That went from like 40 cents to... I didn't miss out on that one too. You can't, you can't get them all. That's, that's just You can't the get show. them all. Yeah, you can't get them all. You know, you got to narrow it down. You know, I could, I could go on forever how many I missed, but you know... You, you, know what's, you know what's interesting though is that you're basically, you know, you're kind of, you're in and out. You make that 3X or 5X or whatever, and that's it. You're not hanging around. Or at least you're not you're not letting the whole thing ride to 50x pretty much, right? You're mm-hmm. te- you're kind of would you would you hang on? What actually what would make you want to hang on for a stock to go to uh, you know 20x? Um, I have started hanging on to them. I just like you know leave a bigger position and just you know that that's my goal now. To you know if I go into a stock, you know I'll, I'm gonna leave in 10 percent, but but you know for something to go at 20x, you know I'm gonna have to really could really be part of it, like somehow or something like that. that that i i don't know i haven't really <laughs> thought about the 20x i don't have i have nothing that hit 20x yet so okay okay you got you got you got to get one of those you got to get one yeah of those. yeah uh, but listen yeah. but if you have back to back 3x 5x three in a row that i mean that's yeah that's, you know, there's, there's, again there's for all these things that we talk about there's different ways of yeah, mm-hmm. everybody has a unique thing they can do so yes, yeah, so VST, they're going to be, I think what they're going to do is they're going to spin out some of these things partially as a dividend. So that's going to be when they start doing dividends of these new companies as a little bit of, you know, so let's, I don't know, let's say you own a hundred share, for every hundred shares that might give you, I don't know, 10 shares or five shares of the new deal. Yeah. That's going to be a game changer because people love that stuff. Uh, yeah. I've been telling them they got to do that because that, that worked really well for a company called, uh, was it Safeguard Scientific? I think did it. That was back. That was in the dot com era. I mean, that stock mm. went like crazy. Um, okay, so uh, non fungible tokens. That is what Liquid is doing. Liquid Avatar. So this is uh, this could be an interesting stock. To yeah, watch. that's a good one too. Uh, thank you for bringing that to my attention, guys. Yeah, yeah. So GBLC looking good. Um, okay, uh, let's see here. So Susan, she's going to all in Wall Street Reporter stocks. Uh, okay, so let's go to the CBD. I want to I kind of maybe close out on that or maybe another stock. CBDT looks amazing for tomorrow, this week. Uh, I could be dead wrong, but I, I, I have super high conviction right here. I mean, this chart looks like, like a rocket. Like, you know, it's like, it's like, it's, like the, it's rumbling already. It's already lifting. It's just like, Argh. so it's already off the launch pad. Um, here's another real good one, Logic. Now, would you buy a seven dollar stock, or you're because psychologically it's the same amount of money if you're putting in fifty yeah. grand, fifty grand, or are you kind of like, oh, oh my god, it's a, it's too expensive. It's seven. Uh, yeah, I'm one of those guys. Yeah, I'm <laughs> one of those guys. Oh, <laughs> uh, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta fix you. But okay, no, if it's work, whatever's working, let it work. Here's a, okay, so CB, it's a logic. So logic, I got mosquitoes biting me here. Our next, somebody's biting me here. Um, so logic is. Um, this thing is another thing. Like right now, it looks like it's ready to explode. It had a bit of a pullback Friday. Uh, amazing, amazing chart. Uh, it's a stock we introduced at 350, went to 14 about a month ago, two months ago, I should say. This thing could be a $40 stock. They're doing fintech in Southeast Asia, in, in Indonesia, e commerce in Indonesia, mobile, yeah. e- mobile e commerce. Okay. So, like on your phone, you can order stuff like, you know, food or whatever you want in Indonesia and in Jakarta. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, you know, I don't know if you know, Calvin, I don't know if you know where Jakarta is. <laughs> it's a massive population. It's yeah. close to where I'm from. I'm from Malaysia. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, no, cause you know, Americans don't know, Americans don't know where Jakarta is, you know, it's, yeah. uh, you know. okay. So they, they, actually, they, they, Jakarta's sinking though. They're actually moving their capital city to a new one. Oh, really? 
yeah, it's a uh, it's sinking actually right now. From from what from the water? Yeah, from the it's too heavy. So like you know like the land is like you know starting to it's you know, go underwater kind of basically. So they're they're actually redoing the whole capital city into uh, somewhere else, and they're going to okay. be you know moving a lot of stuff there. Okay. But listen, but the good thing about the e-commerce is it's not bricks and mortars. I mean, they, they're always yeah, going exactly. to move to wherever it is. And that, those people are not going anywhere. They got, what, 300 million people. They're not leaving. Yeah, yeah they're not leaving. Uh, let's see here. We got, um, we got, oh, yes, SFE. This guy, this guy must, this is, this guy must be a boomer. Must be an old timer. SFE. That was the, that was the hot stock. <laughs> of the of the 90s late 90s uh, mm -hmm. that was actually safeguard center was a client of wall street reporter it was pete mm -hmm. muster was the ceo that thing went it was like a 20 50 it was back when 20 baggers that was like a big deal now like oh hap b thank you for reminding me here hap b this is another calvin have you seen the hap b thing mm -hmm. i'm looking at it right now it looks um they're it's crazy out. let me mm -hmm. tell you what's crazy about this. it's a company that creates feelings feelings on demand I mean that is the ultimate thing. What what do people want? Everybody wants to feel better or whatever, right? That's what people do: drugs, they drink, they do anything, right? <laughs> they gamble. <laughs> you know? actually, 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 no, you don't have that problem because you're not you're not gambling to feel better. You're gambling because you want to win, and it's not like you have like it gives you some sort of like you know stimulation. I don't think. Yeah, yeah, it, it did so, before though, but yeah. <laughs> it's good that it doesn't now. Yeah, because uh, yeah. So this thing is another this chart looks amazing right now very similar to um cbdt i mean it's interesting both stocks had big pullbacks in the last month i think they're getting ready for a massive massive run i think we could see you know again we could see a massive run into like may of this year things can go parabolic um you know the market looks like it's turning around things are looking good bitcoin i'm just gonna pull up the bitcoin right now because again it affects everything we do it does uh it's a speculative bellwether so we introduce it oh wait we didn't introduce it <laughs> we didn't introduce bitcoin um on our live stream i said at, back in november i think somebody asked me about bitcoin i said hey this, and tesla also you know i think we're pretty accurate in both of them uh the tops and the, the bottoms and the tops and i said hey this thing's gonna go to a hundred thousand i hate bitcoin but again like i'm like calvin i i kind of look at what are other people like and they like bitcoin <laughs> they're gonna yep. go this thing is going to, I think it's going to go north of 100,000. I think this might go, I mean, this might blow out to 150,000. It, it's possible. I'm hearing, you know, Calvin, what do you, what's, do you have a target on Bitcoin? Calvin, you there? Yeah, it could definitely blow up crazy. Yeah. I do. What's, what's your target on Bitcoin? Bitcoin nope. above 100k in the short term for sure, end of this year, above 100k. That's for sure. You know the Bitcoin is on a huge trajectory right now, and you know it, that is crazy to me because it's a global market. We're all not only basing off Canadians, Americans, but the Chinese it's, are big into it. It's the ultimate thing because it's the ultimate ultimate okay. thing because it's it's based on nothing. It's basically there's nothing underlying it. It's just based on it, total emotion, purely emotion and opinion. There's nothing underlying it, and it trades globally. Everybody knows about it, uh, worldwide. Any, I mean, everybody. I mean, in Nigeria, you know, I don't, you know, in uh, Jakarta, I mean, in Malaysia, uh, everywhere. Um, and it's crazy because it's, institutions are getting to it as well. You know, that was a big why I got into Bitcoin. Actually, was because I saw how Tesla bought like you know billions of dollars worth of Bitcoin. You know that that was the green green light for me. You know, I had to I had to do something about it. You know, or else I'm just gonna be caught lacking behind. Yeah, exactly. Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna move. I get a, I'm gonna move in. Let me see if I get a place with more light. No, I'm gonna. Okay, no, I'm gonna. I'm gonna close out quick because the light is going. To, okay. It's fading here. Uh, so wow. So, yeah, it's seven seven thirty here. Okay. So yeah. So Bitcoin. Do you think? I mean, do you think Bitcoin can go to two hundred? Yeah. Next. Yeah. Anything is possible. You know. You you know. I have my brother telling me how GameStop is going to go to a hundred thousand per share. You know what's and crazy. <laughs> Uh, you're kidding me. There's, but he's he, okay. So he's he's a true he's he's a he's a Kool Aid drinker. He's drinking. He's he's part yeah. of the cult. He's joined the cult. That's not. Yeah, that's, he's he's part of those group. But you know, you know, it just it just brings brings me up to like you know how are other people thinking and these cult people are thinking that it can go up to a hundred k per stock. So 
so you know again yeah. i go back to the you know i don't really like it but you know i'm just in it to you know I, it's it's yeah and i think i think on, on our telegram also the the member the platinum thing we talked about the, you know, a couple last week right you know when it was like 150 or something hey this thing is going to go back to 300 this thing is ready to break out it's yeah and again i i i think gamestop is completely worthless but it's going to go it's, it might go to but that new CEO guy is, is something else, though, Ryan. And that I, I'm I'm not taking that guy lightly. To, he, the Ryan GameStop. Cohen, yeah, GameStop. Then the, I, he's I have no idea. Him. I'm not paying attention. I don't know. It's like not, yeah, there's this guy, this e-commerce guy. You know, he built some kind of pet site, and then now he's like on the board, and he's tapped to become CEO, and he's gonna like transform the whole thing into an e-commerce biz, business. But you know, it's still speculation. Though. Okay, okay. So, uh, okay, so we're gonna close on Fans Unite uh, and I'll be back, I think Tuesday, uh, Wednesday for the next, we'll go through all the charts, uh, but Fans is looking pretty good. I mean, again, look at this. It keeps the chart, I mean, it keeps one closing up at higher highs right now. I mean, th again, this is another stock that's looking for a reason to go back up. I think this is going to be north of 250 in uh, I might take with fans it's always it's always like a, a bit of a longer it's always it's very frustrating I mean I think Calvin you you can probably testify to this because this thing is always yeah. like <laughs> it's it, it pops and then it pulls back it's it's it doesn't go in a straight line it's um, on and off. yeah it's a really frustrating stock uh, but it is definitely I think this is going to be a big winner this year I think it's at least a three four it could be a three four dollar stock i mean it really i mean it could be bought out too you know you have like big companies coming in i think fans unite i, I mean uh and no, not fans that the other draft kings i think you know they're starting to get into the Canadian market you know they said they're looking for a big you know big purchase here in canada as well to get a footprint you know anything's possible right now yeah oh look at this and if you look at the one hour chart it already broke out of the moving average and you get like a, a bit of a head and shoulders thing happening here so this actually looks really really good if you, oh, this is a beautiful chart I mean, you got a breakout happening here, so you're gonna have, you're gonna have basically, uh, I think you're gonna have some resistance in a buck fifty right now. But it, this is gonna basically from here, it's like straight up to a buck fifty. We'll, we got to see what happens at that point. Um, but yeah, that is um, fans unite looking real good. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap up. Everybody who's watching, please in the video description, there's a link there. You can go to uh, if you want to join our free telegram we got a free telegram which you know uh get, give stuff throughout the day please join that free telegram if you want to join the premium youtube you're welcome to we also have our links to all our stuff uh the discord all that other good stuff and um calvin um i want to thank you uh for for sharing your insights i mean it was really i gotta tell you something calvin uh you know I, i've talked to a lot of you know smart investors money managers hedge fund guys i mean your mentality is, I mean, your your mindset is right up there with, you know, the guys at the thank top you. level. Thank you, thank you. That means a lot. Um, yeah, I mean, I want to say thanks to everyone I met on the Discord as well. Thank you to Wall Street Reporter. Thank you to, you know, all the different friends I met on Discord. You know, all of this would never have been done without you. And and you know, thank you to all all the viewers here. And hopefully, you did learn something, a thing or two. And I hope you're back sometime in the future. Fantastic. Okay, everybody, thank you. I'll, I'll see everybody on the next live stream. Thank you, Calvin, again. Thank you.